It's a sad time when Vladimir Putin is right and the White House is wrong, our own White House lying, and you've got somebody like Putin correcting them, and the truth is honestly with him in this story. The corporate media not even buying the White House's response. The White House keeps telling us prices are going to come down. They're going to come down. But that was before the war in Ukraine. First it was transitory. Then inflation is good. Then we went to corporate greed. Now we're at Putin. It is something else to see. Let's bring in former State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortegas to talk about this. Good to see you, Morgan. Um, it, it, it's it's Thanks, quite Ron. a moment to have Putin fact-checking the White House and be right, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, listen, Putin's full of it in general, but unfortunately, uh, the White House just isn't being honest about what is going on in this country today as it relates to inflation. As you just said, that number, 7.9%, 6.6% as it relates to gasoline. So I, I see this a lot here in Tennessee, Rob, and we talk about this. There are families, as you said, people aren't getting, uh, you know, wage increases by uh, 8%, 10% enough to cover inflation. So there are families that are making making decisions when they go to the grocery store, when they go to the gas station. Can I fill up my cart of groceries? Can I fill up the car uh, with gas? And I think that we're all feeling it, right? No matter yeah. what socioeconomic level uh, you're at. And, and what I think is, is unfortunate is, is it, they just you just went through the clip where all of the things that the Biden administration has blamed it on. The one thing that they've never blamed it on is their own policies and yeah. their own reckless spending. They're unwilling to admit uh, that in one year, uh, this is a this is just been a disastrous economy. Um, and you already have, by the way, you know, I, I think about the children that you have around this country um, from lower income families, especially that were pulled out of their public schools, uh, that were given, you know, no options whenever the school closed, right, or whenever they were masked in the schools. Um, and now you see those same children are probably suffering, you know, from parents who may not be able to provide every meal that they need on the table, given the uh, given these inflation uh, needs and what parents are experiencing at the grocery grocery store. Yeah. So I think that there is a, this is obvious, there's a massive disconnect between the White House and average working everyday people and family and, and, and the struggles that they're going through. And, and yeah, yeah. And, and I just want to, I want to point out something. They're, they're saying that inflation, you know, if you're worried about this problem, and it's obviously something that's hitting all of us, um, they say it's going to, it's going to end soon, that inflation will end soon. And then they're not, they're We've not, been hearing they're that. not Janet Yellen, yeah. uh, one of their own, disagreeing on television today as they're saying this, they're being contradicted by their own people. We're likely to see another year in which 12 month inflation numbers remain very uncomfortably high. Something else. You're going to see this for the next year, going up seven, eight percent. It's 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 staggering. So uh, hopefully this puts the final nail in the coffin of some of Biden's uh, biggest spending plans. I mean, that's just something that's not sustainable for the right. economy. And we're going to have to make you know tough decisions as a nation about what we prioritize uh, when it comes to the budget and to spending. I, I think one of the real crucial things is, you know, this administration prioritizes climate change over everything else. It's almost become a religion everything. for them. Uh, what they should be doing, everything, what they should be doing, Rob, is, is increasing increasing American energy production, drilling at home, releasing the oil companies. You know, they shouldn't be going to uh, Iran and to Venezuela and begging these, you know, states with these dictators, these authoritarians, um, to have more of the oil, which, by the way, if you even care about climate change, they're not even producing it in a clean way. We yeah. can produce our energy, our oil needs better here in the United States, where we have uh, modern, advanced technologies. Yeah. So they're going to have to admit their policies are wrong, and their they're policies. more likely to let the American people suffer yep. than to admit they were wrong. It's and that's the problem. That's exactly right. And their policies are creating more dirty energy because when you bring it in from other places, it's not as clean. They, they shut down pipelines. So now all that oil yeah. coming out of Canada is on trucks now, which pollute instead of in a pipeline where it creates nothing. It is rather funny to see <laughs> yeah. how stubborn they can be, making the situation worse because they're so stubborn and they're so worried about the optics. Former State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortega, it's good yeah. to see you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Robin.